Now, entering and flying a holding pattern is one of the many phases of IFR flight where advanced avionics used effectively can really reduce your workload. So let's fly both a non-published and a published hold using a WASP GPS unit and see how easy they can be. Now keep in mind there are differences between units manufactured by different companies. So the entries you see here may be somewhat different than the equipment you fly with. But what we'll present here will give you an idea of how advanced avionics can really help you. Now for our scenario, your destination is the beautiful Naples Airport in South Florida. However, Today, the flight briefer says you might have some weather that could cause you some arrival delays. Now, your filed route is Sarasota Airport to SRQ, which is the Sarasota VOR, Victor 579 to RSW, which is Lee County VOR, Victor 225 to SeaTag Intersection, and direct to the Naples Airport. You're currently on Victor 225, just south of the Lee County VOR, approaching Hiccup Intersection at 4,000 feet. ATC tells you to expect the Arnav Runway 5 approach and advise ready-to-copy holding instructions. Oh, great. But you're not really surprised by the need to hold because of the weather briefing you received. So you grab your pen and tell ATC you're ready to copy. And ATC tells you, hold north of Hiccup Intersection on Victor 225, left turns, expect further clearance at 2010. The reason there's so much information in that holding clearance is because, as you can see, there is no published hold at Hiccup Intersection. You accurately copy the clearance and read it back. The controller acknowledges and tells you your number two for the approach. That's not so bad. Now, if you were to draw the hold on your chart, it would look something like this. Of course, this chart is north up, and your airplane is here, headed southbound. Okay, you'll want to load the hold first, and then the RNAV Runway 5 approach into your flight plan. I like to keep flight plan entries in sequential order as much as possible. So let's look at how simple holds are with advanced avionics. Here on the flight plan page, you'll want to touch the holding fix hiccup intersection. Then tap the hold at waypoint key. This will bring up the hold at waypoint window. On this unit, you can see several keys that are used to set up the hold. Here we have the course in degrees, the course direction, inbound or outbound, the turns, right or left, the leg type, which is based on time or distance, and your expect further clearance time, or EFC. Now you can see here that your GPS has already placed your inbound course of 187 degrees as the course. It's like your GPS knows where you're going. And that's because it does. This unit automatically will set up a direct entry with an inbound course direct to the fix. Now, because your clearance was for left turns, you'll need to change the turn direction to left. So touch the turn key to toggle the turn direction to left. And you can see here the leg time is already one minute, which is standard for your altitude. Now you need to load the EFC time, expect further clearance time. So touch the EFC key and type in your EFC time of two, zero, one, zero, and then touch the enter key. Now all you need to do is simply touch the load hold key to place the hold into your flight plan. And that's it. 
Now you'll want to verify what you've entered into your GPS by referring to the map page. So press the home button and then touch the map icon. Now while charts are north up, most people, including me, fly with their GPS map displaying track up as we are here. And you can see your aircraft here headed south approaching Hiccup Intersection. Now zoom in a little bit to see things just a little bit better. And as you can see here, your hold is accurately shown on the map as a white racetrack symbol north of Hiccup Intersection on Victor 225 with left-hand turns. How cool is that? And that's all there is to it. Your hold is loaded into your flight plan just like any other leg. We'll look later at what happens as you approach the hold, but next, let's load the approach. Okay, to load the approach, the fastest way is to go back to the flight plan page. And to do that, touch the CDI bar. Since you're going to be shooting the RNAV Runway 5 approach, let's take a peek at the approach plate. First, select the transition that makes sense for the direction you're coming from. And since you're coming in from the north, this is going to be the initial approach fix e at either FEVSI or VISAF. But you won't know for sure until ATC clears you. So for now, just pick one. It's easy to change if you need to. Let's go with FEVSI since it's the IAF furthest to the north. Since we're discussing holes, I have a sneaky suspicion you'll be going missed on this approach and will need to hold somewhere. So take a quick look at the missed approach procedure. Here, the missed approach procedure is to climb to 2,100 feet, direct to off doy and hold. Now, let's load that approach. Notice that your active leg is in magenta and the hold is shown by these white arrows. Think of the hold as another leg in the flight plan that has yet to become active. As you near hiccup, your GPS will enunciate the hold entry and here it's showing direct. Then a left turn to 07, 007 degrees is enunciated. The hold turns magenta as you turn outbound and the unit suspends waypoint sequencing. Now at each turn, this unit will give you countdown timing to the next turn and what direction to turn. And if you have a compatible autopilot, it will do all this for you automatically, just like pure magic. Now you're in the hold until ATC lets you go or you run out of gas. The good news is that after a few turns in the hold, ATC clears you for the approach. Clear direct FEFC, cross FEFC at or above 3000 cleared RNAV runway 5 approach. Now, just how do you exit the hold and head direct to FEVSI? Well, touch the CDI bar to take a shortcut to the flight plan page. Now, touch the approach KAPF key. And the approach options window opens. Now just touch the activate approach key. And you're on your way to FEVSI with GPS guidance and direct routing. It's so easy, even John can do it. Unfortunately, the weather hasn't cooperated. Or maybe it's just a few alligators on the runway. But it looks like you're going to go missed and into another hold. Don't worry, these advanced avionics have your back. Now here you are at the missed approach point and you can't see anything. So you whip up the horses, start your climb to 2100 feet and activate the missed approach procedure. Now you're on your way to the published missed approach holding pattern. And here you can see that this is not going to be a direct entry. 
The outbound course of the hold is 047 degrees and the inbound is 227 degrees. Now, if you're like me, panic begins to settle in as you imagine an FAA examiner sitting next to you wanting to know if the hold entry is parallel or teardrop. No problem, FAA examiner. As you near off doy, and I wonder who comes up with these names, the unit enunciates that this is going to be a teardrop entry. The unit shows a right turn to 080 degrees, followed by a left turn back to the inbound course. And around and around you'll go until you figure out your next move. As you can see, with advanced avionics like this unit here, holds do not need to be a source of confusion. I do, however, suggest you have a healthy level of skepticism when pushing buttons on these magic boxes. So remember, you'll want to use TLAR, T-L-A-R, that looks about right, which is a test of reasonableness. Before following that magenta line, you'll want to ask yourself, does this make sense?